Okay, so today I'm going to look at Seesaw, which is an app uh, for student portfolios, um, and actually a really, really good one for younger students, primary students uh, specifically. I'm looking at using it with our prep to twos, uh, and for a bunch of reasons, which I hopefully you'll, you'll see why in a second. So I've got two devices here. Uh, my phone, I'm the teacher, uh, and the iPad, I'm going to be the student. Um, now, I've already signed in with the, the teacher account. I haven't signed in with the student account, so I can show you how that works. So I'm just going to tap across here. So what you'll see is the teacher kind of dashboard. Um, now, if I just swipe that back again. So when you first sign up uh, with the app, you'll get uh, the option to be a teacher or a student. It'll ask you. I'm obviously a teacher in this one. Uh, and once you are a teacher, it'll ask for an email address so you can um, basically register. And you'll put those details in and you'll create a class. So my class is called Mr. Dan. And you'll add some students in there as well. Um, you can add them. You can add one now or you can add a whole bunch later. Um, that's basically it. So you can see down here, if I go into manage my class, you'll see I've got my class name. I can invite a co-teacher, which is great, uh, being able to invite a couple of teachers on board, especially in the primary classroom, where obviously, you know, you can have some timeshares, which is really, really good. Um, oops, that's gone. I'll turn back in a second. You can manage your folders. Uh, you can see what's on top, manage your students. If I tap into there, you'll see the students that I've got in this class. Uh, I've only got my four. And if I tap in again, I can see some other stuff in there as well. I can give them an icon. I can uh, see if their parents are on board, stuff like that. So I'm just going to go back here. Yeah. Um, and you can see you've got parent approvals as well because you can actually save, um, sorry, you can actually invite parents to have a look at this, which I'll show you a little bit later as well. Um, but that is basically it. So as a teacher, I can add items as well. So if I cycle across here, you can see the items that you can add. Uh, photo, video, drawing, camera roll, which is your photos, or you can add a note. So a teacher can add stuff to this stream too okay so it's basically to have digital portfolios for students but where it's cool is when the student uses it so i'm going to flip across to my ipad okay so i'll switch across to my ipad and i'm going to sign up as a student so i'm just going to tap on this okay so this is what you agree to win so oh, i'm a student so i'm going to tap on there all right and the first thing i'm going to ask for if i bring that down is to scan a qr code for your class so this is what i love okay your students don't need to actually have to sign in every time they don't need to remember a password they don't even need to have a an account. All they do is scan a QR code which takes them straight to their class. So I'll bring up that QR code which I already have sent, which actually Seesaw do this automatically, they send it to you. So I'm just going to cycle across here. All right, and here is the instructions that Seesaw sends you automatically when you set up a new class. Okay, you can see that there, they send you everything you need to know, so you can print this out, you can give it to your students. But I'm going to tap to scan a QR code, I'm going to enable the camera. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's see if this works from here. There we go, done. So in one click, or one scan, I'm right back into that class. It's logged the student in automatically, okay, and they're in the class there as well. And they, they can start to add content. So if I tap across here, you can see that you've got a class journal. All right, and there are my students, John, Paul, George, Ringo, that everyone can see. You'll have all your students in there. All right, now what you do is you basically pick the student, okay? So I'm going to today be Ringo because, you know, he always gets a bit of flag, so I'm going to be Ringo. All right, um, and you can start adding your content, all right? So the reason why all the students are there is because a lot of schools don't have one-to-one -one iPad. This allows a student to pick up any iPad anywhere, scan that QR code, they go straight to their class, and then they can pick themselves from the, the class list. All right, really, really handy. So, Ringo has no items yet. Test the plus button to add an item. So I'm going to go up here. All right, and here are the items that the student can add. So a photo, a video, a drawing, a something from the camera roll, or a note. All right, so I'm going to say photo for now. So again, these are digital portfolios. So students have just completed some work, all right, and you want them to add it to the digital portfolio. And again, having that one iPad with that QR code means you can grab any iPad anytime and say, hey, George, or Ringo, sorry, go add that to your digital portfolio. It picks up an iPad, runs to it, logs in, done. So I'm going to say photo. Um, <laughs> my great piece of work uh, that I've just completed. So I'm going to do that. Now, another thing you see, if I move around, okay, it actually won't take the photo. All right, it waits until you're stable. So let me show you that again. I'm going to start that one. All right, so once it's nice and still, if I tap that camera button, Done. All right, done. So it actually um, helps the student as well take a photo. So if the student's wobbling around and the item's not in focus, uh, then it will wait until it is, and then it'll take the photo for them. So once you're happy, you can, you can say yes. So that's, now that look at it, that's a, that's a gross coffee mark. I didn't clean that. Um, but when, once it's in there as well, you can see some buttons on the bottom. They can rotate their work around. All right. They can also add an annotation to this work. So either be the microphone, handwriting, or text. So I'm going to say, sorry, uh, I'm going to go, Gross. All right, and I'm going to do this. Cute. Um, but you get the idea. So if this was a student's work, they could be highlighting something on their work, saying how great this is, or I did this, or I did that. So I like, 
I like annotations. I'm going to add some text in here as well. And I'm going to say, this was my art project. Okay, I can add that text and it comes down the bottom there. All right, yeah, I like that bit of text. I'm going to add that in. Oops, sorry, go back and add that text in there. Uh, and then finally, they can do an audio recording too. So tap on that. Record in three, two, one. But this is my uh, great artwork. Um, and then, yes, have that in there as well. Okay, so you've got that audio recording as well. So we've got our annotations, our audio recording, and our text. And once we're happy with that, we add that in. We choose the student. Okay, so again, I'm going to say I'm Ringo. You can create new students from here. So if the student already isn't on your classes, you can add him in. I'm going to say, this is Ringo's. Uploading. And then we're done. Okay, so it automatically will upload. Here we go. It'll upload my post. It'll upload the annotations I've done, and it's ready to go. And you'll see it's waiting for approval. Oops, and then if you saw the teachers there, I get a notification saying that we've got unapproved items. So how it works is the students add their content in, but the teacher still needs to approve what's in there. Okay, so they can quickly go back and have a look and say, yep, yeah, that's great, that's great, that's great. Or, you know, maybe that's not appropriate or we don't need to have it in there. So it's, the teacher is still in charge. The students, uh, they're the ones that are creating the content. So they're still in charge of creating their portfolio and finding what's great and all that kind of stuff. But the teacher still has that kind of overall uh, say, I guess you could say, on, on how it works. Um, but the, t the students are still, you know, the creators here, which is really, really good. Uh, and that's it. So I might add something else as well. I'm going to go tap. Video, I guess it's self-explanatory. It'll record a video. Uh, drawing. Uh, if I tap on drawing, you get this kind of blank bit of paper here, and we can do a drawing. So, for instance, for primary students, they could be practicing their handwriting. So, you know, let's practice our A's. And we can add that. And same deal, you've got those annotations down there. I'm practicing my A's, or this is how I drew A, or whatever you like. Submit that. What student? Ringo. Enter. Boom, upload straight away. Really, really quick. Okay, really quick, really easy. All right, um, let's do some few more, because it's just fun. Um, camera roll, we'll get a picture from your camera roll. Obviously, that's an easy one. I don't talk about that. Note, we'll bring up this cool little notepad style um, notebook, and the students can type away. So they might actually even type a project in here. So um, my favorite things by Ringo. Drums. Thomas. The tank engine. And you get the idea. So they can actually create um, a little document too. And we'll tick that. We'll tick that. Ringo's doing it. Approve. Uploading. Done. All right. And off we go. And now I can pass the iPad to another student in the class. So we can still just use the one iPad. Uh, and he can do his digital portfolio and he can upload. And away we go. And that's that. Really, really easy. So let's switch back to the teacher and see what we can do from here on in. Okay, so if I go back to the teacher's view, um, you can see I've got those three unapproved items. So they were the three items that were added by my students, or by this case, just the one student, which is Ringo. And as we go in there, you can actually see the items. Uh, if you tap on the item, I notice that it's not showing the uh, fine moment at the moment, but it should. If I tap on the item, I can actually see it there as well. Okay, so I can go back. Um, and I'm going to tap on this one here. And there's my item. There's the, the text in the annotations it did. So I can see all three of those. If I want to delete one, say it's not appropriate, I will. So let me just delete this guy here. Are you sure? And that's gone. So then I've only got two items to approve. All right. But you can also do another thing too. If I go into that item as a teacher, I can edit it. Okay. So I can actually go in there and I can add to his the student's note or I can uh, actually do annotations on his drawing. So I can add into this and then approve it. So if I'm just going to actually go out of that, I'll, or I can do an audio recording. So I might voice over them and say, oh, great work, Ringo. This is really, really good. So when he goes back and has a look at it, he'll hear my, my corrections or my annotations, which is really, really cool as well. So I'm going to cancel that because I don't need to save it. All right, so I can also go into the drawing as well and I can edit that and I can add an annotation. I can rotate it if the student put it the wrong way. I can add some text. I can do a little recording and say, hey, great work as well. You know, we can do that kind of stuff with the student's work. So I'm just going to cancel that because I need to record it. Yes. All right, and go back. And once I'm happy with all those things, I just approve. So I'll approve those two items. And there we go. So they're into the journal. So if I switch to my class journal as a teacher, I can scroll down and I can see all these. So again, you should be seeing the, uh, where that's white, that should actually be the image. Um, so obviously something's going on there, but we'll sort that out. Um, and just like anything, you can, you can comment and like on these as well. Uh, so the students can comment, they can add comments to other people's work, they can like them, they can flag them and come back to them. Um, so kind of like a little bit of a, a social network there as well. So I'm gonna go back. And the other thing you can do too, is you can invite parents. So if I go into invite parents here, you get this option to invite by email or get a parent hangout. So if I invite by email, 
there we go there. Automatically, this is all done, okay? So it automatically sets an email here, it gives you the blurb, it talks about it, it shows you the link to sign up, it shows you where to download the app for the iPad or the iPhone, so the parents actually have a separate app, all right? And they're ready to go. So in one link, they can be straight in there to have a look at the uh, their students' work, okay? And it's private, they only see their child's work, they don't see the whole class as well. And again, all automated, all done, so super, super easy. Couldn't delete that. Let's go back, and we're gonna parents, parent hangout. Done. And so now that's basically made a PDF with all the instructions on how to actually get the parents to sign in and have a hangout that you can send home as well. So if you don't have their email addresses, you can make a traditional handout sheet. Um, and that is it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll go back to the student for a sec and I'll show you what we've got here. So let's just go back. I'm going to swing back here. I'm going to go to the class journal. And you can see that these have been approved. So we can see on the iPad there we've got the uh, little thumbnail. So I think. Maybe the iPhone's having an issue and not showing those thumbnails, but again, in most cases, I'd prefer to use the iPad. Um, and there is what we have approved, and there is our class journal, our digital portfolio, where we can actually see just Ringo's if you want. We can see what Ringo has done, okay? We can see what John has done, not much, um, but away you go. And if you tap on that folder icon, we can also create folders and do some other stuff in there as well. So really, really, really cool little app, and free, which is awesome, um, for my primaries and my younger, my uh, lower primary to create digital portfolios and can share with their parents securely, safely. Uh, yeah, lots of fun. I'm loving it. So I'm going to actually run this with our prep team uh, and our ones and twos and um, I'll let you know how we go. All right. See you later.